Hel hello, Janet. It's Susie. Oh, Susie! How lovely to hear you. I haven't spoken to you since the divorce. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Oh, God. Well, I shall have to throw one of my parties and invite all the single men I know. <laughs> yes, Janet, well, that's lovely. The only trouble is that most of the single men I know arrive in pairs. Ah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, Janet, I was wondering if we could have a chat. Oh, love. Uh, no, not on the phone. Not? Uh, no. Good heavens. No, it's all right. It's nothing to do with the Official Secrets Act or anything. I, I just wanted to have a quiet talk. Oh, it's not to do with George, is it? Uh, well, um, I, I don't know. I, I hope not. Good heavens, anybody think you were pregnant? <laughs> Could we have lunch? Now, which particular red wine would you prefer, sir? Well, uh, I don't want rubbish. We don't have to stock rubbish, sir. You do? He does, doesn't he? He does. He's got a whole rack of it over there, ten bob a litre, and I use it to clean my radiator out with. <laughs> what I like is something that goes with candlelight, you know what I mean? It's nice music, and uh, not too dry, not too sweet, but with a, with a fairly classy label on it. Yeah. Mustn't be over a pound. <laughs> I'll try and find the kind of thing you require, sir. You think you too much? It was a French label, if you could, and, and a, a fairly old date. This for Myra, is it? Yeah. Yeah, she's coming around tonight, Henry. She doesn't believe in drinking and driving, so I thought I'd get her drinking. Well, I've heard of Myra. She's yours for a glass of water. A bit warm, is she? Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, I had all the hard work at the beginning, you see, Henry. Well, I don't think about finesse, George. In me, it's half a bitter and women and children first. <laughs> Loiseau, 1966, 98 pence, sir. Yes, may I? May uh, I? Uh, please do. Thank you so much. <coughs> 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 Sorry, would you, just for a second, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think, yes, yes. Thanks a lot. I'll have two of those. <laughs> Half a bottle of brandy and a, a bottle of that stuff that uh, looks like champagne that isn't. And a, and a small bottle of stout, please. Ever had black velvet, Henry? Had it for breakfast once. Sort of picked me up after a very heavy night. What do you think this is for? <laughs> Listen, you're coming round for a game of golf. Now, why don't you join it? Might I be in the way? No, no, we'll have a game of golf after lunch. What about Myra? She doesn't play golf. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That, that's fine. Uh, oh, sorry, Henry. What about you? I mean, uh, what sort of an evening lies ahead for you? Can of lager and a packet of crisps, please. <laughs> You're pregnant. Shh. Are you sure? Well, no, I'm not sure. I haven't had a, a test or anything, but all the other signs. But like fancying kippers and ice cream. I think that comes a bit later, doesn't it? But how could you be? I thought you were hoping it would still work out with George. Well, if I'm right, something has worked out with George. George! <laughs> Just before the decree absolute, we had one last shot at a reconciliation. Oh, no. Five weeks ago. Oh, Lord. Oh, I mean, it was madness. It could never have worked out. But, well, we, we went for a picnic and we, and we had champagne. And, oh, it was such a beautiful day. Followed by a rather beautiful night. She is. She is. But uh, how did it all go wrong? Oh, we had a blazing row. How does it ever go wrong between George and me? But even after the beautiful night? Oh, that doesn't make any difference. We could have a punch-up at the gates of paradise. Now, I suppose if you told him about this, it would be pistols at dawn, right? I, you know, I, I don't know. I, that's what I wanted to talk to you about it for. I mean, I, I can't tell my mother. Oh, no. She spent eight years longing to be a granny. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't quite what she had in mind, is it? Not really, no. no. How do you think um, George will take it? Well, did he ever want children? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, he never got broody. He didn't start patting babies' heads in prams or anything. I, I don't know how I'd feel about it. This could bring you together again. Yeah, but what if it did? I mean, what baby wants to grow up with the parents throwing its toys at each other? <laughs> A baby might change him. Yes, it might. Do you know, I was, I was thinking about that this morning, but somehow or other, I... I couldn't quite visualise George with nappy pins in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long do these things take? What? The, um, tests. Oh, well, if you go this afternoon, you'll know tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm. Ring me. Oh, yes, yes. What do you hope? What? Well, if they say yes, how will you feel? I don't know. Well, put it another way. Suppose it's a false alarm. I'll cry my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs>
Judy. Look, I, uh, I, I wonder if you could do me a favor. Hello, darling. I want you to borrow, uh, uh, what, what are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> you look half cut. What do you want, George? Uh, a vase, on a vase. On. A vase? Flower vase. A flower vase? Yeah, because uh, I, bro I broke mine. The I don't know what the flowers are. They're about that big. A bit, bit, bit like uh, overfed daisies. I didn't know you were taking a vase. Oh, well, I'm not completely uncivilized, no. You never used to bother when I put them out. Really? I once filled every vase with flowers. You couldn't move for them. You came home, you sniffed, and you said, have you been spraying something? You could just, just have the, uh, the vase, Susie. Oh, you're in a hurry. W wondering how long the fl flowers will live, that's all. <laughs> Haven't got time for a chat, George. Um, a chat? Yeah, well, we haven't really had a talk since the decree absolutely. No, I mean, that's no. That's five weeks. It's it's time for some of the dust to settle, surely. Bit bit worried about the flowers. Oh, well, I'll come and help you arrange them. No, honestly, I can. Oh, George, I can... please. I've, I've got somebody coming, you see. A girl. Pardon? What? <laughs> uh, yes, she is a girl. Yes. <laughs> sounds sounds like her. Now look, I tell you what, I bring I bring the vase back first thing in the morning. And, and you can have the flowers as well. OK. Th thanks a lot, Dan. Hello, <laughs> George. Listen, uh, are you any good at arranging flowers? I have a fashion. Mm -hmm. I'll just put some water in. I, uh, I quite enjoyed it. I still think I ought to apologise properly. Pardon? Mm. OK. Oh, you accepted, yes, yes. <laughs> well, uh, look, um, how about a drink? Uh, how about a drink, Mara? Mm. I seem to have worked up quite a thirst. OK. Make yourself comfortable. Now, oh, um, gin, isn't it? Not if I'm going to need my strength. Pardon? <laughs> gin makes me sleepy. Sherry with ice and lemon, lovely. Sherry? With ice and lemon. That was wonders for my metabolism. You should try it sometime. I, uh, uh <clears throat> don't, don't think I've got any sherry, darling. Oh. I'll tell, I tell you what, look, I'll, I'll, I'll get some of next door. Now, uh, just, uh, just hang on there, will you? Don't be long. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I wonder if you could uh, possibly lend me a bottle of... Sh what's that for? The lipstick. Oh. <laughs> what was that brush? Uh, I, I broke your vase. Oh, no. So, I'll, I'll get you another. You bought me that one. Did I really? Oh, jo oh, don't try to remember. Don't even bother about the fact that it may have had some sentimental attachment oh, come for on. We're, we're divorced now, darling. George, we may be divorced, but I do not like losing one of my favourite vases just because you're trying to impress a female like Myra Cole. Oh, you, you, uh, you know, know Myra, do you? So does every man in the office under 60. All right, never mind it very much. Just give, <laughs> give me the bottle of sherry, will you, please? Oh, you can impress not on your life. I'll pay you back. Save your money. I've heard she functions perfectly well at a... A glass of water. Oh, don't mind Myra Cole. Are you jealous? Is this what all this no, is? No, I am not jealous. Is it because you're on your toddler? No, it's not. If you must I'm, I'm really not interested. I think I'm pregnant. Thank you very much for your hospitality and generosity, and I'll do the same for you sometime. Forget about the sherry. Okay. <laughs> when did the fire go out? I, uh, I, I just, I, I was just gonna, wanted to have a, w a word with my next door neighbour. You see. Of course. I suppose you don't get the chance very often, living so far away. I mean. <laughs> Listen, Dan, I've looked, I've looked forward to this this evening with you for such a long time. You don't give that impression. Hmm? I think I'll phone her. <laughs> just hang, hang on, hang on a second. Uh, look, make, make yourself comfortable. I'll... I 
Hello? Susan, it's George. Oh, George, look, I, sh I shouldn't have told you, but you made me so angry. Is, 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 it, is it true? Well, you're pregnant? Well, I, I don't know for sure. I, I, think, I think so. Well, you're not, I mean, can't, can't you take a test or something? Well, I, I did that this afternoon. Well, when will you know? Tomorrow. Look, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm assuming if, if you are, it's me. Oh, Georgie, if I am, it's, it's you. There's no doubt about that. Good Lord. <laughs> George! Uh, hang, hang on, hang on. Mate. I'm going to say goodbye. No, just a minute. Hard as I find it to tear myself away from your fascinating uh, conversation. Listen, darling, don't... And much as I admire your virility, George, listen. I would hate to have to take a test to prove it for you. <laughs> no, listen, just, 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 just hang on for one second, darling. Thanks for a memorable evening, George. Uh, um, sorry, darling. Oh, no, I'm the one who's sorry. I shouldn't have told I've ruined your evening. Listen, can, look, can I come round? Well, what about, what about Myra? Well, if, you, if you look out of your window, you'll see she's just going home, and an, an expectant father shouldn't be left on his own. <laughs> All right, then, come on. It's not set. No, no, no. How do you feel? Fine. You feel, you feel all right? You feel... You, you should be sitting down, really. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I've been a bit, uh, been a bit stupid. No, you're not. You've been marvellous. I didn't know how you'd feel about it. Oh. How do you feel? I think I'd be very pleased. What about you? Very pleased. Very proud. <laughs> um, th there is just uh, one problem. Ah, y y you, me, and the little band of yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Well, we'll we'll go down to the nearest registry office. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. But we've been married before, George. Ah, yeah, but <laughs> we didn't have the the patter of tiny feet then, did we? We may not have the patter of tiny feet now. We'd better. A baby. <laughs> Can you imagine? Crawling around here on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going to sleep? Oh, what, look, what, we could knock, knock a hole between the two be bedrooms and, and, well, one bedroom and one nursery. Yeah. I, th I think Mum and Dad have still got it. What? The train set, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it fit, fit marvellous, honestly, because there's miles. There's miles of track and. and um, Signals and all the, all the, uh... oh hell! What? It's all diesel now, isn't it? <laughs> My mind, mind's clockwork. Do you think you'll mind? I mean, they, they won't laugh at him at school about it, will he? Never a doubt, or that he might uh, be a she, or that that might not be a he or a she. Of course, and I'm me. I'm, fi I'm filling in my water. So look at you. <laughs> I mean, uh, the bright eyes and, uh, and the flushed cheeks and all the tremble. It's, it's either a baby or flu. <laughs> I suppose, uh, suppose it would be a bit, a bit, uh, a bit unlucky to drink to the fella. Yes, it would. Yeah, well, we'll just, we'll just have a straightforward uh, drink in my place. Hmm? Well, come on, little mother of all the rushes. <laughs> hey, I've got, uh, I've got a meal for us. Have you? Oh yes, you're, you're not the only one to have something in the oven. <laughs> it was, uh, it was for Myra. Yeah, okay. Myra. Oh, she got frightened off by my virility. <laughs> Could you repeat that? Your test was negative, Mrs. Bassett. Negative? Uh, that's right. Th there's no baby. I'm sorry. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, goodbye. A beautiful baby, you must have been a beautiful doll. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hello, Janet. I it's Susie. Susie, what news? Uh, sorry. What? I wasted your time yesterday. Oh no. Wish I'd never mentioned it. Oh, Susie, I'm so sorry. What am I going to tell George? 
You told him? Uh, well, it, it slipped out. What, in a romantic moment? No, in a blazing row. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, what am I going to tell him? I mean, last night we, we talked about getting married again. Oh, he was quite pleased about it, was he? Oh, yes, he was, he was marvellous. He was, he was going to get his train set out. Well, supposing you'd had a girl. I think she'd still have had to play trains. <laughs> oh, but, Janet, I'm not having anything, and I, I wish to God I'd never mentioned it. Now, listen, Susie, there's a bright side to most things. I mean, do you have to tell him? What? Well, I know it's not the best possible start to a new marriage, but... What, what, what do I do when the baby doesn't arrive? Well, something could go wrong. Oh, that sounds a dreadful thing to say. Yes, it is a dreadful thing to say. Yes, but don't you see, I mean, if he just got you together again, then you could try for a baby that would keep you together. Do you see, Susie? I mean, it's just one small lie and one phantom pregnancy. Well, they do occur. My dog's had three. <laughs> <laughs> It could be the start of a whole litter of little bassets. <laughs> twenty tiny fingers, twenty tiny toes. Morning, George. Little angel fair. Hello, Henry. Come on in, come on to you, my son. Thank you. There we are. If I haven't broken up a passionate moment. Well, you have, actually, Henry. Between me and a piece of toast. <laughs> Henry, uh, what would you think of me as uh, a family man? Now, listen, George, I've heard all about Myra. Don't you let her... No, not, not Myra, no. no. She only stayed for three minutes. No, uh... Susie. You two are back together again? Yes, she, she stayed here last night. Susie's pregnant? Well, I mean, it, it doesn't do to talk about these things, you know, early, but uh, if she were, I... I fancy I'd make rather a good dent. Oh, no, George. I beg your pardon? I, I'm sorry, no, I, I had old Ronnie Compton round my place last night. Ronnie Compton? The fellow in your office, old laughing boy. Yeah. Looks like suicide every day, isn't it? That's right. Well, you, he's got three children, you see. That's why he was on my doorstep last night. He was in a shocking state. Why? Well, I gather that kids can take it out of you a bit. Uh -huh. how, uh, how old are they, Henry? Uh, two, four and six. Uh -huh. Roddy is very regular with his habits. <laughs> two boys and a girl. And the girl's worse than the boys. Apparently, when they're not trying to wreck the house... They're knocking Ronnie to pieces. Yeah. They're not making a bad job of it, are they? You know, I knew him before the kids arrived. Straight back, twinkle in his eye, laugh all over his face. Well, I never saw a laugh all over his face, I've got to admit that. No, well, he did manage a faint smirk when he left me last yeah. night. Mind you, he'd wrapped himself around half a bottle of my brandy. Sorry, George, I don't want to depress you. Oh, you're not, not depressing me. I mean, good, no, well, I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about a battalion, am I? You know, I'm only talking about one, one little nipper. You know, just, just, to, just to carry on the family name, you know. That's what Ronnie wanted, but the girl arrived first, so we had to try again for the boy. But listen, um, is Susie pregnant? No, I, I, I'm sorry, George. You don't want to talk about it. I know. Well, not because I'm wor worried, Henry. I, I, I mean, look at Tony Turner. I mean, now his wife's just had a baby. He's, he's, he's OK, he's Tony. I mean, he comes out with, with us for, for a laugh and a beer, doesn't he? Yes, he's quite happy. He's, yeah. he's happy as a sand boy. He's Tony. He's, he's fine. Yeah. Got his number, have you? Oh, George, that is nice. You want to talk about babies? I don't want to talk about babies, Henry. I just, I just, you know, his name cropped up, and I mm. suddenly remembered uh, I wanted to ask him some, tell him, tell him some. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Henry. Well, uh, if Maya has gone, what about this game of golf? Well, uh, look, I, t I tell you what, I'll, I'll uh, not today. I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring. Right. I'll give you a call in about five years. Love to Susie. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, Henry. <laughs> George here. Oh, hello, George. It's a bloody awful line. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's the baby. <laughs> Do be quiet, Ambrosine. <laughs> <laughs> Such powerful lungs, haven't they? <laughs> yes. uh, uh, is, is Tony there? Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm afraid he's out at the moment. They're buying cotton wool and nappy liners. Nappy liners? Yes. You know, it's unbelievable what one baby gets through. Do you know, George, we bought about a hundred weight of the things when she was born. Yeah, well, look, uh, perhaps when perhaps when he gets back. Oh, well, then he's got to have a shot at getting Ambrosine off to sleep. Oh, you know, he's absolutely marvellous with her, George. He'll rock her in his arm for hours at a time. And when you think that he was up with her at two o'clock this morning, well, she'd been so sick, poor little soul. It was everywhere. <laughs> 
Look, um, I tell you what, don't don't uh, don't, don't bother him, Hill. Oh, well, it is no bother. No, really, it wasn't it wasn't important. Well, can I give him a message? Yeah, tell him to keep up the good work. Oh. <laughs> bye, bye, Hill. Bye. It's, um, it's going to be a uh, scorcher. Oh, is it? Yeah. I haven't noticed I've been on the um, phone that, this morning. Oh, yeah. Well, what to the, um, yeah. the, the place where you... Uh, yeah. Uh, yesterday? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you're OK. You're not... I uh, am. You are. Oh, you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? It is exciting. It is exciting. I, I really, no, it really is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really knocked out... Um, <laughs> But they couldn't couldn't have made a mistake, could they? No, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, no, no, not. not uh, well, once the frogs died, uh, oh, that's. Well, I don't know about a frog. <laughs> no, well, whatever. It's they, usually pretty. Pretty certain. That's certain. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, well, um, congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't got a bottle of champagne to, to celebrate. Ah, well, look, it is, it is a bit early in the morning, isn't it? What about a cup of tea? Uh, no, no, I don't. Coffee? Coffee, coffee would be fine. Coffee, yeah, right. Thanks, uh, yeah. Black, uh, very black. <laughs> <laughs> well, I expect you can't wait to get on to your parents. Uh, p parents, eh? Uh, check up on that train set. Oh, the the uh, the train set. Yes. <laughs> be a good excuse for you to play with it yourself. I uh, it will, it will indeed. All aboard! Woo! -woo. <coughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll look marvellous wheeling a pram, Joe. I mean, not that there's much reason for you to wheel it in the well, country. I what? Uh, I mean, uh, well, let's, uh, let's let's talk about something else, shall we? Something else? Hmm. Like um, like getting married again. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to? Don't you? What do you mean? We've got to, haven't we? <laughs> Last night you wanted to. Do I? Of course I do. I do. I do. Of course I do. Listen, um, it'd be marvellous for you to have, have a man of man about. It's got all the, all the odd jobs, eh? I mean, look at this wonky, wonky banisters and there's that picture frame. That, I bet that hasn't been done, has it? 101 jobs. Look, I, I tell you, we'll, I'll get on with them while, uh, while, we, while we're talking about the, uh, the wedding and that. Where's the, uh, where's your hammer? George? I, haven't you even got a hammer? George? Shall I, shall I get mine? What's the matter, George? Come on. You were a different person last night. Ah, oh, it's just... Henry got me a bit rattled. Bloody stupid. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all right now. How did Henry get you rattled? Well, t t you know, talking about children, it's, it's not important. Put you off, did it? Bit. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Ronnie Crompton's got three. I mean, we're only talking about one. It is only one, isn't it? I mean, can I tell this to him? It's none, George. Yeah. What do you mean? Look, I, I, I can't pretend any longer. I don't think I could have kept it up if you'd been over them. What the are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's none. There's a false alarm. I, I'm not pregnant. I, I heard this morning. But you, you said that you... Yes, I know. That was, that was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought that perhaps if I... Well, there's no ram pushing on the horizon, no, no nappies or, or anything. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're mine. I, you are. You always wanted kids, didn't you? No. In a way, I wish we'd had them. Might have made us think twice. Supposing I couldn't have had any children. Of course you could. Look, you're built like an ox. <laughs> the child-bearing hips. I mean, you could have you could have three or four on the trot, no trouble. Three or four. But how about just having one, just for size to start with? <laughs> what does that sound like? Sounds all right. Does it? If you're serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. Yes, I think you are. Well, what do you say? Well, have a, a baby and get married. Well, not in that particular order. No. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, that's the, that's the wrong order completely. Will you marry me? If 
you'll have me. Well, that's the general idea, yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's never too early to start a family, is it? No. Nope. How about tonight? <laughs> you really would be the proud father, wouldn't you? Yes, I think I would. I honestly think I would. <laughs> Always assuming I can have children. Of course you can. I've just said so, haven't I? And assuming that you can. Yes, that's... <laughs> Are we always assuming what? That you can. Can what? <laughs> assuming that I can father a child. Yeah. That's what you just said. Well, no, what, what I said was that... Have you got any doubts about me? No! Because <laughs> Myra Cole hasn't got any doubts oh, about me. She was off down the road in a cloud of dust when she heard about me. I'd rather not hear about me. Well, have you know, I, I, come from, I come from a, lot, a long line of, of fertile bassets. Well, all right, you can <laughs> start a lot of mine now. No, right? much to your surprise, that'd be, no. wouldn't it? You know what you've accused me? You've just accused me, of, more or less, of being incapable. That's what you've accused me of. I have not accused you of... Now, look, George, don't, don't ruin this proposal like you did the last one. Last one? What are you talking about? What are you talking the about The very one? first time that you ever proposed to me in a rowing boat on the Serpentine. You'd had a lot to drink to summon up the courage, I suppose. And before I could answer, you said you felt sick and we had to row for the shore. <laughs> well, you'd remember that, would you bring that up? Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason I remember it was because for some strange, unaccountable reason, it was all my fault. It was your fault. It was your fault. And whose fault was it tonight? Oh, it's uh, my, my Right, I don't forget deny. it, because I'll come back one day and I, uh, with half a dozen kids and I'll make you eat your words. Oh, George, don't have half a dozen Six and uh, three on each hand and I'll, I'll, I'll make you remember this remember, day. Remember, I am never likely to forget it, Six George. Six don't worry. I'll, Hello, I'll be back. What, George, shut up. It's the clinic. What? Um, yes, that's right. I, I rang you this morning. It, it was negative. Yes. Uh, Bassett. B-A-S-S-E-T. Yeah, well, all, all right, I'll, I'll hang on. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> um, what do they want? Uh, I don't know. Do they, do they think they made a mistake or, you know, made a mistake or something? Well, they, they, they got me mixed up with another Bassett. Yeah. With two T's. What, does, does that mean you're, uh, you, you know, you might... They're checking. She was negative, too. Six! Six I'll bring back! Six? I'll show you! I'll show you exactly! That is not a good time.